Welcome to another WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 how to training. Today we're going to cover connecting clients and doing local PC backup. Here's a reminder of our motivation again to provide proven, reliable, and affordable solutions for your business. And we introduced last time the Ultra Compact Storage Plus Server family of WD Sentinels. If you're not familiar with the WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100, we recommend that you look at the DS series basic training video and also the first how to video. Today, we're carrying on with the how to series to show you how to connect client PCs and also do local PC backup. From a PC or Mac connected to the same network as the server, you're going to open up a web browser, type in the name of the server slash connect. You can also put in HTTP slash slash the IP address slash connect and then download the Windows software. You're going to type in a username and password for the user that you created on the server and you're going to associate the user to the same PC and Mac. Once your local PC reboots, your computer is now joined to the domain in the uh, system tray there's an, uh, an app called the Launchpad that you can bring up. There are two things you can do as a user. You can back up your computer and you can launch the shared folders. The other two items, uh, the, the remote web access and the dashboard require IT administrator rights. Also if you've integrated your uh, WD Sentinel to Office 365 there's a way for the user to launch into their account from the Launchpad. One last thing is we want to let you know that there's a way to add your PC to the main without using a connector. And this is especially useful if you have older uh, Windows clients. Now in part two, we're going to cover how to back up your computer if you're not on the uh, domain. And we get a lot of these uh, questions from our customers who have employees that are, that are uh, 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 mobile and they have their laptops uh, with them running around. So. If you recall, the WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 uh, will automatically create a local folder per user. So you need to create a user account on the, um, uh, on the uh, uh, Sentinel, and then you can actually find the server using your uh, Windows Explorer uh, on your local PC. You log into the server using those credentials, and then you create up a a folder called backup within your user share. I'm also creating another folder called my documents just as a convenience. Now next you're going to launch your backup uh, service from your local PC. Uh, the uh, Windows client backup has been built into the, the Windows since uh, Windows Vista and so you uh, can launch it. You can uh, uh, put into the uh, stream your mapped network drive and then click on OK. Now you'll enter your username and password, the same one that you uh, that was created on the uh, WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 using the Windows Server 2012 R2 Essentials dashboard. Again refer to the uh, to the uh, basic training video to learn how you create users. Now you can save your settings and start your uh, backup manually and of course over time it'll it'll back up according to your schedule and whenever your PC is connected. Join us next time as we create a storage area network using our WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 as an iSCSI target. See you soon!